Greetings! It's been such a long time since I came on here and spoke some scunts. If you miss me, press the like button and comment, Well, watch more scunt, eh? I have a secret to share with you guys. I've got some credible information from my OB lady and you won't believe what she told me. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. Hey, something ever surprised you like when you see Chigala, what? Before we get into today's video, I just want to answer the most frequently asked question on this channel over the past week. Everybody wants to know, where is Mudwater? Well, I'm right here, scunt. I've been on a bit of a hiatus due to personal challenges in my real life. And on top of that, talking scunt every day does really take a toll on your mental health. But I appreciate the concern everyone had for where I was. Y'all take a big up. So. It seems like elections are still ongoing, with the Court of Appeal set to rule on the latest legal challenge on Thursday. The Caribbean Court of Justice subtly told us to carry scunt by announcing that they will be going on a vacation for two months. Our Court of Appeal is set to rule on Thursday, Friday is a holiday, and they close on Monday. That cannot be a coincidence. What do you think? I think Granger should have spared us all this embarrassment and Reiki scunt ever since that no confidence motion was carried. Now his legacy is completely obliterated, with Google calling him the rigging president. <laughs> Anyways, no one knows how the court will rule on this matter, but one thing for sure is that there's no further legal recourse whether the ruling is in Granger's favor or Jack Dio's, which means we should be getting a swearing in by next week, the latest. But don't hold me to that because you never know what could happen when you're living in Scunville. Moving on, what's up with all these fires? According to the memo I received, the Slow Fire More Fire campaign was supposed to start after GCOM makes the declaration. Like I a hurry scunt. I just want to take a quick moment to shout out our uncut news sponsors, Triple B's Enterprise Cellular Plus and BM Soap Auto Sales. Look them up on Facebook and give them a follow. And now for the secret. I know what killed Owen Arthur. Take a look at this video. <laughs> Owen Arthur on March 6th, laughing off the attempts by the de facto Minister of Foreign Affairs to take away his accreditation and that of the others who were invited to observe the electoral process in Guyana. It had become clear that an attempt was being made to rig the elections, and Owen Arthur, who headed the Commonwealth Observer Mission, had begun to speak out against it. When Karen Cummings attempted to lecture him and the other observers, Owen Arthur would have none of it. Taking our I'm going to speak to the Commonwealth Secretary General shortly. She's ready to speak to me. And I have a duty to her yes. to report <laughs> accurately. Absolutely. And I cannot now avoid speaking accurately. Absolutely. So that if you apologize, because I'm getting it, it's not. Hello. No. Hello. Hello. Then you take it away, but give you back. That's right. <laughs> because good yes. people have never done this me yet. Once outside the Ashman's building in Georgetown, he again expressed his displeasure at what was happening. I, I, I you know, say that. Yes, because I'm the, the minister did not accredit me. G come did. No, G come did. I, I was invited by the government of Guyana. As the part of, of as, 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 excuse of me, the, the government of Guyana invited the Commonwealth to send a team. The Commonwealth asked me to cheer the team, I have been duly accredited by a government and therefore I am not going out to comment on whether somebody threatened to stop what they did not create. After observing what was a free and fair elections, Owen Arta had spoken about Guyana's place in the Caribbean integration movement. You know, I just want to say this, that Guyana is a member of CARICOM and as you are familiar, CARICOM has a charter of civil society and that charter of civil society commits all Caribbean countries to putting in place all such good practices that could ensure free and free elections and the operations of a proper parliamentary system and that if um, there are any provisions in those recommendations that coming from the Commonwealth that would enable Guyana to 
even better live up to its commitments under the Charter of Civil Society of CARICOM, then I believe that as a faithful member of the Caribbean community, um, CARICOM, that Guyana should do so because it has a duty to give effect fully to the charter of that civil society that makes it a legitimate and a member of good standing. As the days, weeks and months went by, other Caribbean leaders spoke out about what was happening in Guyana. When the Prime Minister of St. Vincent, Ralph Gonzalez, said that CARICOM would not stand by and watch the elections in Guyana being stolen, he was castigated by officials of APNU plus AFC, notably its campaign manager, Joseph Herman. On June 12, Owen Arthur wanted his views recorded on how he felt about the attacks on Gonzalez. The, the killing attack on other leaders is really, in a way, putting Ghana in a, a condition where it appears to have itself being led by people who are out of order. Mr. Hammond cannot be allowed to indulge his appetite to be attacking leaders if there is an issue at the level of leaders between leaders of the Caribbean and Guyana. Then one would expect that leaders of the Caribbean will have to be spoken to with respect and that the person who should be qualified to speak to other Caribbean leaders will be the leader of Guyana and not Mr. Joe Harmon. My Obia lady said that it was the PNC that ordered some Obia on Mr. Arthur and caused him to get a sudden heart attack. She said something about Kabaka. Anyone knows what that is? Hey, subscribe to this channel if you're new to scunts. More scunts coming soon. My name is Marwato. Boom out!